Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my fellow 76 before you buy Atom Shop video. So in this video we're gonna take a look at Down Home Comfort Bundle. Now I'm not gonna touch the pricing for the uh, bundle because everyone has got his own price mark. You can either buy it on full price or wait for it to come with the X amount of discounts. All depends upon your choice. So let's start wasting time and jump right into it. By the way, use the timestamps to maneuver through the video and view the items that you want to view so you don't have to watch the entire video. Alright, so before I begin with uh, all the reviews per of all the items, I just want to give my personal feedback. It did take me long to decide whether to buy this bundle or not, but occasionally at the last moment when I changed my camp once I finished season 2 I decided to go with it because of the exclusive item which is the laser uh, light duck shooting uh, gallery gallery I do apologize if I mispronounce sometimes this and there because I'm from Ukraine sometimes uh, you know <laughs> it happens alright so that's the first thing that actually really really caught my eye and the second thing that caught my eye is this one right here especially when I found out that one of the weapon display cases can display two weapons and there is a benefit and a, and a no benefit so basically with this item there's an advantage and disadvantage and I'll cover it uh, within this video once we get to this so these two are actually like the main two reasons I really really wanted to go with this bundle and I decided to acquire it uh, like on the last few days remaining and you will have the chance to decide whether you actually want to grab it right now or wait until it comes back with a discount so let's not waste any time and start reviewing the items how you build them what sections you visit to build them etc all right to start off we're going to start reviewing the exclusive uh, uh, camp item which is uh, the uh, laser light duck shooting gallery so this is animated as you can see uh, I already reviewed the shooting option once which you get from season 2 you can see it right here but instead of ducks we got those uh, liberators uh, yeah it's a cool item to have especially when you have two of them it's pretty cool as you can see the only thing that I would love for this item to do is to give a specific uh, buff for like 30 minutes perception will be great because we got now workbenches where we lift the thing we get from season 2 we get plus 2 strength for 30 minutes I believe if that, yeah 30 minutes we got the musical instruments that increase our AP regen etc so it would be really cool if this item would be one of those items that could also give you a slight buff uh, but whatever the case is this is still a pretty good one and I'm pretty enjoying it as I said one of the reasons why I decided to not to wait for a discount with this bundle alright so uh, where do you build it and uh, I'm gonna show it to you in the building menu from all sides because as you can see I can't really uh, show you everything because my camp is all like uh, close together with this place and stuff so uh, you need to open your uh, build menu and afterwards navigate all the way to the right section where you'll find MISC structures and in MISC structures uh, you will find your shooting gallery as you can see it right here I'm gonna kinda like quickly rotate it a little bit so you can see how it looks as well from all sides I was thinking of putting these things like uh, one like this and the other one like th that to be honest as well and I don't know I decided to go like this first uh, but maybe in my next camp I'm gonna have it uh, like this <laughs> and like that you feel me so there's a lot of pretty cool things you can figure out with this one but as I said uh, number one thing is I love the animation I love I love the way it looks and it's pretty cool and pretty entertaining and stuff like that so yeah this thing actually made me to go with the bundle but then the second was the uh, weapon display cases I'll get to those in a second alright so the next item on our menu is the gun rack set so there are gonna be three different options and this one was the top reason why I decided to go with it because you can place two guns not one but two and that is actually really cool I'll explain just in a moment once we get into the building menu so this is the first option then we have this option right here 
and we've got uh, this option right here the only thing is sometimes like uh, the weapons are like sticking out not cool so I would recommend using the old default version uh, but yeah sometimes they do stick out like if I would have removed uh, this true stock and put something else maybe that to remove that thing it would look okay but it definitely like look at the hunting rifle right it would be nice if the hunting rifle would be like somewhere in the middle and not like uh, this moment is here but then the entire gun is sticking outside you know you know what I mean like in the middle in the middle would be perfect like this gun this gun perfectly fitted in uh, and it's kind of like balanced right it would be really nice if the hunting rifle would have the same effect now these are the three options that you get right they're all pretty nice and I managed to build them with no issues alright so let's begin with the building and some info so you know to do that you will need to navigate to your display uh, option right and for now we're gonna get rid of this one right here so I can explain what I meant about having two guns instead of one alright so these are our displays right all of these are displays. Uh, the one you want to find are ba basically going to be with your random uh, weapon displays, right? So we have two for whatever guns, right? And uh, pistols only. Uh, this is, uh, and by the way, these t three, they can have guns and melee weapons. So it's all written once you interact with it. And I'll show it to you as well in a second as well, once we're going to be assigning the weapon back. So uh, sometimes yeah it does happen that you can't like you see but still it's still it's still good now the main point for me as I do want to create at some point a camp filled with weapons with different weapon skins because I want to like display that uh, once I'm gonna be making that camp definitely I will not have a building because those things like they take up a lot of uh, can budget stash if you if your weapons aren't reduced weight and that's what I'm looking right now before I, I build in build a, a massive skin displace uh, camp so most important for me if you look in the top right corner you can see uh, there is a build budget six out of thirty right what does that mean that means I got six display cases over here I got three three weapon right and over here I get three more where I'm displaying my masks so that makes it six right if I'm always gonna have these display cases always always these three I'm gonna have no matter what meaning I'm left with 27 uh, with a 27 uh, limit right so if I were not to buy this bundle and use the old ones I could make seven more right uh, 27 more but I can display only one gun part so that means I can display 27 guns and there's definitely more skins uh, if you have played all the limited rewards if you played seasons if you bought it from the atomic shop there's definitely more than and nuclear winter of course there's definitely more than 27 skins for a huge variety of guns although some guns don't even have skins which Bethesda it's time to pr provide us with skins some OP skins so if you navigate to uh, the top default of wall rag right you will notice that all guns and melee but only one right and this one is pistols only pistols and only one right get the point so you can put only one gun and they don't care so in reality if you're not to buy this bundle you will uh, be able to display 27 guns now with this camp item right this one right here if you build it it calculates as one so build menu seven right but you can put two guns instead of one two guns or melee so I find that really nice I would love to put like uh, where's my handmate so as you can see you got the weapon weight reduction let's see if I have more room yeah, yeah I can put those oh wait I'm being stupid I didn't assign a click the wrong button by the way this skin is broken although I really want to display this Bethesda please fix this is from season 2 
All right, so let me put a sign. And do I have room to assign another one? Ah, no, I don't. Well, I will a bit later on. But you get the point, right? This displays only one. One, gun or melee. Two, gun or melee. One, gun or melee. You get the point? So now, once I'll get to build my camp with the uh, focus uh, to review and show off all the gun skins that I've earned, I'm going to be placing a lot of these as I will be able to display more than 50 different skins because it's 27 multiplied by 2. And that is that is another big, big winner why I decided to go with this bundle, not to wait for it to, to return with a discount because, you know, sometimes you wait for a specific bundle way too long and I really like don't want to like risk it because our that camp is that I'm aiming to build is actually something massive but I still need to collect those weapon weight reduction uh, weapons so I can make a display although you know what come to think of it I'm really curious I didn't try that let's try it together right now how the heavy guns gonna look like I got a heavy gun over here Boom. Ah. Crap. Aside. Really? It's a sign. Come on, but that's the fix your game for crying out loud. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Wait, where'd it go? Oh no. Maybe I clicked the wrong button or something. A sign. <laughs> okay. Minus heavy guns. It does not accept heavy guns. <laughs> you cockroach. Or maybe I don't have uh, or maybe I don't have enough uh, budget. Hold up. Let's try this out together. Gonna get rid of this. Gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this. Transfer. Assign. Okay. You see, I don't really use heavy guns. That's why I didn't think of it. And here you go. The heavy guns you can't you can't put it there. Why? Wait. wait, wait. There's something wrong right now. It's just refusing to work. It doesn't accept melee weapons either. A sign. Oh wow. Okay. Have in mind, ladies and gentlemen, those who've been playing this game a lot, we all know that this game is a big feature game and sometimes things work here and sometimes things do not work here. So Deathclaw Gauntlet, no, nope. don't want to go in there, okay this one went in there, wow, what about that goes in there, well, isn't that considered to be a heavy gun, it doesn't look nice, so yeah, I guess you're going to have to play around with weapons that you can display, but still, whatever the case is, I'm still happy with the purchase, it's just uh I'm gonna be f focusing on like rifles and stuff like that and heavy guns maybe just a few of them although I have a lot of heavy guns hold on I miss I want to try a missile launcher and a minigun because I have a lot of skins for those two alright man there's something definitely wrong with weapons like I was able to display as you can see I was able to display the missile launcher which is what's well, considered to be a heavy gun no uh, as I said, I'm not a big heavy gun user, so I'm not sure. Uh, now, if we take the old weapon weight display cases. Now, if you remember my X camp, I had a whole bunch of these miniguns, but I got rid of them because none of them have uh, heavy weight reduction. And my stash was over 600 pounds of... Uh, heavy guns with no weight reduction and not even legendaries just to like display like for example 
I have the minigun with... Uh, where the hell is it? Oh, it should be here. I have a minigun with uh, brother, uh, Brotherhood of Steel, right? There we go. See? That works. That for some reason doesn't. I don't know. Actually, it would look good in below. See? So maybe it's just another feature that needs a little bit of fixing. I'm actually going to send this uh, review to Bethesda once I'm done as well. Maybe they will scratch the head and do something about this. I mean, there's a lot of things you got to do. But I got to give it a, a, a head. I like a credit. They did a really good job with Patch 22. And for the past, I've been seeing some really good jobs. So good job, Bethesda. And I really hope you can do something about this too. And a whole bunch of other bugs and stuff like that. Fix. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Alright, so the next item we're going to take a look at is the beer barrel fridge. So, it's just a regular fridge that can hold up to 15 items. Right? Food or drink. And you will be it will spoil on 50% uh, lower. So, I can stack, for example, this up over here. Put some brain fungus soup in there. And they will spoil lower. Although, these are about to... Poof, gone. So it's just uh, one of those fridges uh, that you can use. <laughs> Good to have, right? So this is actually another fridge over here. The cooler. Wait. Oh, you can add more. Oh, cool. I did not know that. <laughs> I, I th oh, cool. <laughs> okay. Good to know. <laughs> I actually literally just tested this out because I didn't have that. I, I usually I usually don't use fridges at all. That's actually pretty cool. So that's cool. I like. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so where you can build those fridges at? Um, I think it's in f floor decor. No. One sec. No, it's not floor decor. Not the stashes. I think it's appliance. Yeah. I just forgot for a second where to build that. Appliances. So here's the fridge. Here's another fridge. And here's another fridge. So this is the one we were just reviewing. It's pretty cool. But I did not know you... Oh man, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you always find something new for yourself. <laughs> Alright, the next item that we're going to take a look at is this flamingo right here. That you can actually interact with, turn on, turn off the lights. So that's cool. Uh, the, o the other thing that I've actually noticed, to be honest, uh, w once we go into build menu, right? Well, first of all, they lock it in floor decor, right? And then you can find your flamingo right here. Uh, one, this one was a free one, uh, not included with the bundle. This is the one you get with the bundle, right? So, and you can build those, as you can see. Now, if I get rid of it, right, and I go to back to my light section, you can see my light budget is 45 out of 50. Now, if I build it again, rebuild it, and go to my light budget, you can see it's 45 out of 50, meaning... Uh, this flamingo right here that generates uh, sort of additional light it does not uh, have an, like it doesn't count into the light so you can have using these flamingos you can add a little bit more light to your camp without using up a whole bunch of uh, light budget which is also fifth limited to 50 it's a really small amount I usually go over because I have some like sub, uh, subscribe or something you know some promo uh, word in on my uh, on my wall but this time I just have the Z client it's just uh, three letters over there uh, four letters over there the client that's what it takes the budget of light not the Z because it's not light and basically I, I decided to make it more shiny that's why I decided to kind of and this time I've built an extra an actual big house so I needed more lights and definitely had to sacrifice that word <laughs> alright so that's it about flamingo and uh, it does not eat the budget but have in mind things may change because this game man changes all the time right so maybe today doesn't count as late tomorrow will count as late 
<laughs> Let's go to the next item. The next item is the hammock. So it's a skin for a bed. Uh, it's a good looking one, gotta admit. But a little bit of an animation wouldn't uh, hurt. So for example, when when you lay down and start like going, you know, side to side, that that would be actually a cool add-on. And you know, these game at this time, a lot of games make different skins with animation, flashy, and whatever. Uh, so Bethesda, you might want to kind of like start de delivering more animated items instead of just the you know stationary ones because the more animated uh, the items are flashy animated like they move around or whatever uh, I'm pretty sure more people will be willing to get those including myself uh, and to play around with camps at the moment I'll be collecting all these camps and maybe in some future I'll start building some camps uh, camps camps not like uh, this although I like it but something pro like some modern houses or stuff like that uh, or some I don't know like a camp building <laughs> I don't know I'm not the best builder out there yet <laughs> so far I just need a little bit more practice and uh, then I might gonna start building some camps as well make some camp playlist but anyway uh, let's get back to the business as I said uh, a little bit of animation to this bed will not hurt but in general uh, it's a pretty good item to have so as you can see I got three of them right here this is where Z clan gets all the buffs before we open lunch boxes right over there and then we go XP grinding like crazy <laughs> all right so that's that's the bit let's go to the next one by the way how to build it simple you go to your bed section and you find it throughout all of your beds that you own and eventually you will find it that's where you build the this item and the next item that we're gonna take a look at is the uh, hounds recycling sofa chair uh, now they actually did a pretty good job with these chairs cuz uh, you sit in a different way you can, like this thing opens and uh, he kind of like op gives his legs up front man <laughs> and he sits differently than from all other uh, you know chairs in all of the chairs he just sits as if he sits in any other chair so the same animation all the time <laughs> over here they did actually add the animation so that is pretty cool and uh, there are two types of sofa the green one and the red one so if I for, for instance get off this uh, chair sofa chair and uh, you'll see that that thing moved back inside and uh, they both look exactly the same so the thing is if you sit on this one uh, the animation is gonna take place once again and uh, as I said it actually looks cool not bad good job with this one I actually did not know that <laughs> I tried I, I tried sitting on it before uh, making the review for it and I was well surprised I'm like oh <laughs> alright how you can build this thing uh, is going to your chairs section and there you go you'll you have this one that one right here so a whole bunch of chairs you just gotta have to find it like I have a whole bunch of them like this was a limited reward two people can sit on this one like just look look in your chair menu and the last item that we're gonna take a look from this bundle is the book Caro lamp? <laughs> I definitely mispronounced that. Bakaro lamp. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Alright, so that's how it looks like. I'm gonna quickly like move it around. I'll build it. We'll interact with it. I personally don't don't use these lamps because you know they take up the light budget, which sucks. Just a very few amounts. Only those two I really really like. As you can see I have especially this one this one I use a lot it's a, a rank 100 reward from season 1 so BAM uh -huh. you can have build the budget is adios come on man I'm gonna have to get rid of the table just to show this lamp Are you serious cockroach game please give us more budget there we go Okay, it's just a lamp. Give me my foosball table back. I don't like this. Adios. The foosball table 
it is way better. It's a reward from Season 2, by the way. I don't remember which rank. 50-something, I think. But it's cool because uh, two people can... Really now? Thank you. Boom. So two people can interact with it. Its animation doesn't give any bonuses or whatsoever. Alright, Z-Clan and everybody else. Uh, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can react to them. So if you want your comments to be read, just feel free to provide your negative or positive feedback with no swearing. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z-Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. If you want to join our community, feel free to do so. We have an active Discord server almost uh, 700 members there so I'd recommend reading the rules if you get lost feel free to watch the tutorial video everything is down in the video uh, in the video description and uh, yeah that's pretty much it y'all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys like it at. and I'll see you on the next video bye from the S we roll.